Hey, what is up guys? It's Cade and Chris back again with another video from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we're going to be talking about technique and is it overrated? So in today's video, we are going to explain how we do think technique is overrated. Uh, in the video today, we have Callie, who's uh, my daughter and she's 13 and she plays a bit of tennis, but she's not hardcore like her brother Cade. And we're going to show you how we worked on her forehand today without talking about anything technical. Just having her go through some drills, hitting the ball to certain areas on the court and focusing on higher, deeper type terms while she's hitting the ball. And uh, we'll show you some of the drills so you can see at home that you can uh, coach your kids and show them drills that uh, can help their game without ever getting into technique. All right, in this first drill, you're going to see Callie hit forehands from three different areas on the court. And the goal of the drill is to try and hit uh, one forehand to the opponent's forehand. And then the next one she has to hit to the backhand. And she goes through nine balls. So this one she goes cross court. The next ball she has to hit to their backhand. So the drill is just teaching Callie how to hit a forehand from the center of the court, moving around the ball. So Cade, what do you think of a drill like this? Personally, I really enjoy uh, a drill like this because it's working on hitting your forehand from all parts of the court. And as a tennis player, you need to be good at hitting your forehand from all over the court and dictating with your forehand. And I think this drill does a great job of practicing that. Yeah, so we're, we're teaching Callie how to move around the middle of the court hitting forehands here, but we're not talking about technical stuff. We're not talking about the take back or the follow through or we're just having her hit number of reps from this area getting used to hitting forehands and making her opponent move. Yeah, you, you can watch her and say, whoa, wow, look at that, her, uh, her uh, follow through there didn't look real good or whatever, but that's not the purpose here. We want her to enjoy tennis and actually learn how to hit the forehand at different areas with her body and feel confident in how she moves as an athlete. And it is Te and technique in general can be a little confusing sometimes. So if you've ever tried to learn technique from a coach and you're not getting it, can be very uh, stressful and annoying and it can sometimes become, you can become disinterested in tennis as a whole. So sometimes talking about technique all the time isn't the play. Totally agree. So this one here, now instead of hand feeding, we're hitting, I'm hitting some feeds with my racket from the other side of the court. And Callie now has to hit a live feed uh, cross court and then down the line from the deuce side of the court. And she's just getting used to now hitting a live ball to those different zones. Um, and, and she's lucky. I think one of the great things is Callie does get to watch Cade uh, play so she can see what it should look like. And that helps a lot of players as well when they're learning earlier on. So this, uh, similar to the other drill, we move across the court and she has to hit four hands from uh, that area. What do you think of this drill, Cade? Also, another great drill for the forehand, like just crushing it from all over the court. I think it's a great drill, again, for uh, just kind of ripping forehands from everywhere, getting used to hitting it from all different parts of the court. Yeah. So then we moved into a, a drill where now she has to try and hit a forehand on the move. So we hit one to her backhand. Uh, she hits a backhand and then she's got to recover and hit a forehand uh, cross court. So these balls are all going cross court when you're on the run trying to hit a deep ball. So once again, we didn't talk about technique, the setup, the contact point, the hitting zone, the grip, nothing. Uh, Callie does have some pretty good fundamentals already, but I think this can be done with any type of athlete that's learning to, to play tennis. You know, give them some basic fundamentals, but then don't worry too much about technique. So uh, one of the things that uh, I'm trying to focus here with Callie is that I'm not really trying to overwhelm her with a bunch of technical tips. We're trying to give her, uh, you know, drills that'll help her in a match and these kind of drills that she keeps doing them over and over again, eventually it'll become habit form for in a match. Uh, Cade, what do you think about it if I was to get too technical in my talks with you guys? All I know is I have thought about technique in matches before, and if you guys have thought about it before in a match, you guys know it is the worst feeling ever because you could be thinking about your technique on your forehand and you miss a couple on the net and then you're you're all messed up for the rest of the match and then everything else goes. So definitely not a good feeling and it could affect, depending on the person, 
the whole tournament, a couple matches, and we obviously don't want that. Yeah, so, um, I mean, so the main thing is, is we want our players to do better in matches. And we feel that if you're thinking about technique too much, that can hurt you in a match. So that's why all the drills here, we're, we're setting up zones. Callie has to hit balls to these areas. And this drill here, actually, she's now got to make me, uh, or no, now she's hitting angle forehand. So I'm feeding her a ball here, and she's trying to hit an angle to an area on the court where she can spread the court out and have her opponent move wide, and then she has the open court after that. Yeah, there's some things here as far as footwork maybe isn't textbook or whatever, but we're just trying to give her to get the feel of what it feels like to hit a ball on a short angle to make the opponent move off the court. So the final little bit of this video, there's another drill after Callie hits some angles, is we're going to kind of put everything together here, and she is going to make me move on the other side of the court uh, from this deuce side, hitting forehands only, so that she'll hit it to, to my forehand and then hit the next one down the line, and she'll get used to what that feels like uh, in a match making the opponent move. So this one, she hits my backhand, I hit it over there, she hits the next one cross court, and she goes down the line. We're not worried about if they're going in or out, but right now we're just focused on her getting that feel of moving the opponent with her forehand. So as you can see, there's a fair amount you can do uh, without getting too much into technical talk with your uh, tennis player. And yeah, we believe that, you know, from the, the very early stages, you should talk about the grip, the setup, the hitting zone, the impact point, recovery and all that. But once there's a a decent foundation you can work on drills like this where you can just put some zones out there and get the player to hit balls to those areas and get them used to that feeling um it's okay anything else to wrap up there with uh yeah i mean as the player it it's definitely more easy on the mind like you're not thinking about oh my god my grip like it feels so bad or man coach told me today my setup needs some work like oh my gosh like in these drills, it's very easy on the head. You're working up what on what Coach Chris just talked about, and I think it makes for many good practice. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button and click the su subscribe button as it really helps the channel. Hope you have a good day, and we'll talk to you soon. Have fun on the court.